Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin. As I said last time, today, on day two, we're going to take our first steps into the Forest of Hope. Now I like to be very, very, very expeditious on this day, so I do apologize if the commentary is going to be kind of weird. And if I have to stop to explain things, I will probably pause the game because I don't want to lose any part of this day. This day is a very, very important one for me. So at the start of every day, the, do uh, the dolphin and the onion you have under your control will actually land back on the surface. And to call out all of the Pikmin you've had before, just go under the onion, press the A button, and then pull them all out using the control stick. And here we go, we have our army back. Now the first thing we're going to do on this day is nearby... You can actually find some grass, and whenever you have Pikmin uh, go with the grass, they may find some nectar. And what this nectar does is, whenever the Pikmin eat the nectar, they can actually grow more uh, fast, more efficient, and more powerful. Because they will grow flowers on their heads. Uh, there are three stages of Pikmin. There's the leaf stage, the bud stage, and the flower stage. And uh, it basically goes from weakest to strongest in the way I describe them. Uh, whenever you get ne nectar, they will immediately turn into flower Pikmin. And basically, when they're flower Pikmin, they can do everything much faster. They can attack faster, build things faster, knock things down faster, basically everything. So you're going to want to keep flower Pikmin around you as much as possible. Because they are very, very helpful. I'm going to go ahead and kill this flower so I can get another pellet. And get two more Pikmin while these guys are kind of working on that wall. Okay, you can go back to helping your friends. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get these two guys flowered, but that's not going to be a problem. Let me quickly pluck you, though. Unfortunately, this will still take a little while, though, so I'll let them finish up. Now, as you can see in the background, we actually have our first enemies. Uh, the enemies we see right in front of us are uh, Dwarf Bulborbs. They are very nasty creatures that will try to eat your Pikmin, but they're not very strong. They can easily kill them. These guys, these are Spotty Bulborbs. They're a lot bigger, and they're a lot stronger, so... They will actually be a challenge, but I'm going to go ahead and let these guys break down this wall. And I'm actually going to take care of the dwarf bulborbs by myself. I find this to be the most efficient way of handling things. That way you're kind of, you know, taking care of two things at once. Also, be careful because Almar also has a health meter, and if he does get brutally murdered by these guys, you will have to um, basically give up for the rest of the day. And everything you do will pretty much be worthless, so you do not want that to happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and fight this guy. Uh, one thing I am going to say about this game, uh, me and this game rather, is I like to think that I'm good at this game, but I'm fully aware that I'm not the best at this game. I'm definitely not a Pikmin Master. You want a Pikmin Master on YouTube? Uh, my good friend K-Man Rules 1331, he is a lot better at this game and this series than I am. In fact, he actually uh, helped me get through Pikmin 2 uh, last time I played through the game, so... He's probably... If there's a Pikmin Master, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying he'd be the, like, the Master either, but he does know his stuff, and... I mean, I've watched a few speedruns of this game, so I could probably tell you certain tactics you could use, but... I'm just going to say it right now, I'm definitely not a master of this game, that's for sure. But, like, I can generally, like, I know some of the best strategies for killing monsters, and, uh, you know, I can basically tell you how to approach certain rocket parts. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And yeah, I can do basically all that, but anything more than that, like speedrun techniques, like, and actually incorporating them, yeah, I'm not the guy you want to go to. 
And not saying that K-Man would be the guy you want to go to either. I don't want to, like, send a bunch of people his way or anything. To, like, you know, assume he's the master, but, you know, he's... He definitely knows a lot about this game, too, so... I want to give him a little credit as well. See, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, uh harvest all of these pellets and these enemy bodies. That's right, you can also harvest enemy bodies for Pikmin seeds as well. As weird as that might sound. Oh wow, I actually got rid of all of them. Well, not got rid of all of them, but, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and collect this five that's over here, too. Uh, you're gonna want to have a lot of red Pikmin, because, in my opinion, the red Pikmin are probably the best Pikmin type in the game. Uh, not only are they resistant to fire, but they're also the strongest Pikmin type. They have a slight edge when it comes to attacking enemies, so... They are very, very powerful. And you want to use them for most of your battling. Of course, there are some situations where you don't want to use them for battling, like if they're enemies inside the water. Because uh, there is one Pikmin type that's immune to water, but red Pikmin are not. If red Pikmin go in the water, they will die. I should also mention that if you leave uh, Pikmin planted for a while, uh, sometimes they will actually grow and mature into their uh, bud or flower stages. I don't like to use that strategy very much because I kind of like to have as many Pikmin with me as I can at certain times in the game, so I don't really make use of that very much. And now I'm actually going to put away a few Pikmin. Just eight of them, though. Because now we're actually going to do some battling. And the first creature we're going to take down, or actually there's two creatures we're going to take down. We're going to take down this Spotty Bulborb and that Spotty Bulborb in there, so... Okay, the best way to attack Spotty Bulborbs, in my opinion, are... First, you want to swarm them. And then, with whatever Pikmin you have left, you want to throw them on the Bulborb's back. Or, attempt to throw them on his back. That way, he'll get kind of overwhelmed and will be unable to attack. If, uh... I believe if the, uh, Spotty Bulborb gets one attack in they will automatically kill whatever Pikmin is in its mouth, so you want to avoid that as much as possible. Okay, so let's do the same thing here. And there we go, that was actually pretty good. Uh, now I'm actually going to put the red Pikmin over here. And yeah, that's basically the game telling us that uh, our day is halfway over. But yeah, I'm going to put the red Pikmin over here to get them out of the way. And now we're going to meet the yellow Pikmin. You didn't think there was just more than one type, did you? Or, I mean, you, don't, you didn't think there was just one type, did you? Yeah, there are three Pikmin types in this game. Red, blue, and yellow. And if you couldn't figure it out, the uh, blue Pikmin is the one that's immune to water. The yellow Pikmin is actually not immune to anything. Uh, the special attributes of the yellow Pikmin are whenever you throw them, they will generally uh, fly a lot higher and farther than red Pikmin. And they can also hold bomb rocks, which we'll actually see in a minute. And their, uh, I guess you could say their visual feature is they have humongous ears. But yeah, we're going to harvest these pellets. Very quickly, I'm also going to do this. Now that I have three yellows, I'm going to go over here to where we have some bomb rocks. I'm going to use them to take down this wall. Uh, bomb rocks, while they are kind of good for killing enemies, you're mostly going to be using them for destroying stone walls. No, 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 no. Get that rock. Okay, so I'm going to destroy this wall. And there we go. Now we're going to continue harvesting bodies.
Not sure why it's going that way. Okay. Yeah, sometimes Pikmin can be very weird with their directions and where they're going, but... Still gotta love them. Gotta love them, I guess. So yeah, mostly I spend this day trying to harvest my yellow Pikmin population. At the most, I can usually get two rocket parts, but not really more than that. I'm just not skilled enough to do that by my own skill. Okay, now that I have ten, I can actually uh, pick up the giant spotty bull borbs now. I'm not going to get this one just yet, though. I'm going to grab this one first. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. And I'll use the other three on this guy right here. And while they're working on that, I'm going to try to make a little path through here. Because we have some more enemies here. Uh, you have some more dull bull orbs as well. But you also have these little enemies called shear grubs. Uh, shear grubs can be a lot more dangerous than you think they would be. Uh, mainly just the purple ones, though. There are two colors, uh, white and purple. Uh, the white ones can't kill you, but the purple ones can. So what I like to do is I like to uh, go into these swarms and kill the purple ones with Olimar. And then, you know, when I walk my P uh, Pikmin through here, I won't have to worry about them getting killed. So yeah, that's basically my strategy with dealing with these guys. But I think I actually killed all the purple ones, so I should be good to go. Okay, and now I'm going to move back through here and get what I harvested not too long ago. Also get this guy. And some of you guys are pro probably also wondering, for those of you guys who haven't played this game, rather, uh, the numbers at the bottom. Uh, there are three numbers. Uh, the first number is how many Pikmin you have in your party right now. Basically, how many Pikmin are following you. Uh, the second number is how many Pikmin are on the field, meaning Pikmin that are following you and Pikmin who have been disbanded. And the final number is how many Pikmin you have total. So, overall we have over 109 Pikmin. I say over because I think we just harvested a few more. Maybe not. But yeah, uh, if you couldn't tell, we can only have 100 on the field, though. That message kind of told us that, so we can't have any more than that. But now, we have a rocket part up here. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I think you only need 20 to carry this part. I think. Okay, just one more. Next, I'm going to grab some more bomb rocks. And I'm also going to grab my red Pikmin, because they're going to get another rocket part. That's pretty nearby. I'm not going to destroy this stone wall yet, because you don't need to. There's nothing over here that we can really do yet. And is that part coming? Where's that rocket part that I just got? Wait, is it following me? I don't know where it is. Okay, there it is. Never mind. Okay, I was just getting a little too impatient. My bad. Okay, so we have another rocket part right here. I'm going to go ahead and use my reds to carry it back. I believe you need 40 for this one. Which I think all my Pikmin should be able to help with that one. Now I'm going to get what other Pikmin I have. Okay, wait, we have 59. Why, why do I think I'm missing a few Pikmin? Okay, 20, 59, 10. Okay, I think I left one disbanded somewhere, which is not good. But anyways, I brought these Pikmin over here because... Oh, dang it. Okay, move out of the way so I can actually get my Bomb Rock Pikmin. Thank you. But yeah, I'm going to destroy that wall right there because uh, that wall can actually be very helpful when you're getting a few other parts that are nearby. Okay, let me destroy this wall.
Okay, there. That's perfect, actually. Okay, where's my other rocket part? Okay, that's coming very slowly. Okay, um, I really hope I didn't leave any Pikmin behind. I probably did, knowing me. But I'm gonna leave these guys here. Because now that we have our radar, we can actually see the world around us, and we can also see where our Pikmin are, so if I left any behind, I can actually find those. Very quickly, though, let me get you guys... Put you guys away. Oh, actually, I have a lot of planted ones. Okay, that's, that, that's probably the number I've been missing. Okay, so we're actually a lot better than I thought we were. Okay, I shouldn't lose any Pikmin. I should be fine. Because I think those uh, planted Pikmin are just going to still be there the next day, so... I'm not going to lose any or anything like that. I am going to put you guys away, though. Oh crap, I don't know if they got back in time. I mean, I think they should, because I think if they're trying to get inside the onion, they won't get left behind, but I really don't know for sure. The mechanics of this game are kind of weird. Okay, did I leave any behind? No, I did not. Okay, good. If you left any behind, you'll see the Pikmin getting eaten by the giant guy in the background, so... Yes, I was able to pull that off successfully. And I actually did a little better than I did in my practice file. In my practice file, I didn't get that one gate blown down. Okay, and there's Olimar giving us some helpful tips about playing the game. Helpful tips that I don't need. Okay, so now that I actually have more than one Pikmin type, and now that I've actually, you know, done a level that's not the tutorial level, I can actually explain this a little more. Uh, this is our progress report of every day. First we get a little log, like Olimar just explained to us. And then we also get this little screen right here where you can see a line graph of how your Pikmin population was. And then you get some numbers, you get how many Pikmin you sprouted, uh, how many Pikmin lost in battle, and how many Pikmin you left behind. Uh, followed by how many Pikmin of each type that you have at the bottom screen. So, yeah, it's a very, 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 very helpful little progress report, I guess. I don't know, some of you guys might not find this helpful at all, but I personally do. Okay, so now that we're done with that day, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and then I'll get set up for the next video, where uh, tomorrow, I'm actually going to try to, or not tomorrow, but next time I update this project, uh, next time I update, I'm going to try to finish what le I have left to do in the Forest of Hope. And after that, I should be able to get enough rocket parts to go to a new world, so... Uh, that is going to be my plan of attack for tomorrow. I have a pretty big... Pretty... Uh, I have a pretty busy day ahead of me, because... I'm going to have to do a lot of fighting in order to get my goal accomplished, so... Uh, yeah, this has been Slim Kirby. This has been Let's Play Pikmin. Uh, I'm going to stop the video before I run into any more tongue twisters, because... I'm having a hard time talking for some reason. Later, folks!